Hrothgar and his men lived happy in peace until one day, Grendel, the monster that lived in the marshes, ended it all. Grendel had arrived and he came for blood. He ravaged the halls, chasing after Hrothgar's men. Grendel, that sick beast, had stolen 30 of Hrothgar's men. How sad. Time skip. Hrothgar and his men were torn after the massacre. How could they live on without 30 of their men? They mourned and mourned, begging for a way to get back at this sick, disgusting beast. Brethren, we shan't let this happen again. Thou shalt not mourn in peace. We shall get vengeance for thee. Yes, we shall need a heroic figure to say thus. A heroic figure they would receive because Beowulf would arrive on the shores. Thou shalt not pass, who is there? I am Beowulf of the deep land, and I've come to help with you. I shall help you prepare for this next attack. So Beowulf and the Danes began to plan for the next attack. How would they stop this fiend of blood? If we all pretend to sleep, we could catch him by surprise. They move forward with the plan and Grendel does show up. He goes for one man, but then goes for another and finds no other than Beowulf. Grendel and Beowulf fought back and forth, but Beowulf is a warrior and he will not go down without a fight. With the help of Hrothgar's men, Beowulf got Grendel to the door. It was here Grendel's arm got caught, and Beowulf was able to chop it off and save the day. Hrothgar and his men could live happily in peace now that the awful Grendel was dead.